It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading and I'm at the Metcalf Fair and we're going to take a look at some of the antique tractors that people have been exhibiting. So let's go. It's Cop Shot 30. Very nicely done. I've actually never heard of that. Cock shot 1550. Very, very nice. It's a little shinier than my Massey. Just wheels. That is a long time ago they had that. Oh, it's even got a cup shop to plow. Okay, so here's the John Deere's. John Deere LA. I don't know if that's a, that's a two cylinder. Very nicely done. Green paint makes it expensive. Look at the bracket. I like that. It's almost like it's an afterthought. There you go. It's like a one cylinder. I don't know what model that is. It's got some sort of a brake here. Distributor. Deer 70. It's like a two cylinder. Very nicely done. It's like a cast dash that holds the uh, steering shaft. did a really nice job on the paint job. It's really, really glossy. Roll crop. I don't know if there's too many of these around anymore. At least around my neck of the woods, but it's a 50-20. It's got this little guard for around your feet. I wonder what year this thing is. This has got like the dust bowl. And I think it's glass. It is too. It is glass. Very, very nice. Very nicely done. Cast rims, adjustable axles. So you climb up the back. In some way, I actually like this better than all the painted up ones. So this one here is a WD9. And original, I wouldn't say original condition. At least the condition that it uh, made itself to. It's got a little bit of a bit of an oil leak going on this side. That is pretty awesome. It's got cast centers. You know what? I like this. This is nice. It's weird. People put 
put so much time and effort into tractors and rust is a nice color, I have to say. Okay, here's a WD6. This one's been painted up. Nice big injection pump on it. Nice paint job. Here's another WD6. Some of these people have put a lot of money into these things. This is McCormick Super W6T8 Torque Amplifier. I like the old McCormick rims. One big bolt holding it. I wonder if that ever was a problem. I don't know if it's going on or what. It's got some weather crack on the tires. Nice tractor. Farm all Super H row crop. Farm all four hundred row crop. I love their symbol. That looks awesome. That's when they made tractor still. Fireball Super. Doesn't look like too much restoration has been done on it. I don't think it's the original paint. Might be. McCormick Deering Fireball. Very nice. This someone spent a lot of time getting this one ready. Very, very nice. They even have the farm all mat. Here we're on to the lawn tractors. A wheel horse, 753. With tow behind implement cultivator. A John Deere 112. I wish there was a little more information on what year these things were made. Uh, there's one, it's the Gordon Master Garden Tractor. It has a little plow and the hitch lifts by this lever. Probably. Oh, and here's the uh, full start. Oh my word. Starting off making lawn tractors. 
a mini me Minneapolis Malik G1000. That is a tractor. These things are incredibly rare. At least our neck of the woods. Injectors. down to the bottom part of the wall. Definitely differently. Adjustable axles. Oh, it has like a dual PTO. 1000 and 540. Minneapolis Marine Z. Look at the wheels. The cast centers. You tighten the bolts and then you uh, put your cotter pin in. It's really, really amazing. Look at that. You can unbolt it and probably see the connecting rods. Nice grill. Very nicely done. 1939. There's another Minneapolis Moline. Doesn't look like it's been touched very much. Maybe had new fenders on it in the rear. Oh, it actually looks like the back end was changed on it. But it hasn't been uh, touched very much. I like their uh, weights they put on the front. It's pretty awesome with this one. BF Avery. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of it. Must have been one of those tractor manufacturers. Small operation of some sort. It's amazing how many different tractor manufacturers there were. And now there's only a few. It's kind of sad really. Because people can't make money with it. You just got to keep getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so let's look at the older equipment along the fence. They got some older, uh, just different uh, handheld stuff and stuff that doesn't fit into a category. Let's go take a look and see what that is. Here is some hit and miss motors. Oh, it's a international stationary pump. That is pretty awesome. Uh, 1938 McCormick Deering LA3. I don't know, 3.5 horsepower. Here is International Harvester LB, one and a half, two and a half horsepower. 1948, where is it pump? A McCormick Deering water pump. 1936. That is awesome. It looks like a McCormick Deering uh, motor and it runs a drill press. I can't see how that could be dangerous. That is awesome. And it runs a drill press. mill of some sort I think and it runs off of a Novo engine there's a thrashing mill George White number six it's pretty awesome just the belts and everything and this must be where you store the belts when you're not running the thrashing mill you wind it up. Here's a Massey Harris manure spreader. It looks pretty much original. That's kind of amazing it's in the shape it is. Because you can barely see, but you can see the original paint. The Massey Harris is original. Steel wheels. Oh my goodness, this is an old, old sprayer. I'm sure it 
DDT or something rolled through this at one point. Wooden barrel, has sprayer nozzles. Ground drive. So I hope you liked it. Uh, just a little bit of a run through the antique tractor section at the Metcalf Fair. So you guys have a good one.